Congresswoman Gabby Giffords will leave the hospital tomorrow, says her family, 13 days then after being shot in the face at close range at 9 millimeter bullet, piercing her skull and tearing a hole through her brain. Her husband says she's begun to try to speak. Tomorrow, she's expected to be flown by air ambulance to Houston, where she will enter a rehab facility for what is expected to be months of therapy to recover whatever motive and cognitive function she can. Could be quite a lot. All this just 13 days after being shot. But in our fourth story tonight, the right-wing blogosphere says, too long, time to step down. The blogger in question is an alumni, alumnus rather, of Republican Virginia Governor Bob McDonald's office and a regular contributor at Hip Hop Republican. His blog post attracted little notice until former Bush speechwriter David Frum, who appeared on this program this week specifically denouncing violent rhetoric, posted the call for Giffords to resign on his own website, Frum Forum, and giving it a headline on his home page. The original post was entitled, Who Controls Representative Gifford's Seat? Her or the People of Arizona Constituents Shouldn't Have to Wait for Representation. Among its extraordinary assertions, there is no doubt her constituents mourn for her and her family. But does that mean they should also go without representation in Congress? Certainly not. Should constituents, it says, allow members to hold on to their seats like, still quoting this now, political Brett Favre's with no concept of when it is time to go. There is more of this crap. Stepping down from one's office is nothing to be ashamed of. In actuality, the shame lies in not being honest with one's own self about the responsibilities that voters have entrusted in one and the expectations that they have. Constituents should expect that an official will either be appointed or a special election held within six months, not years. This current Congress should take this issue up immediately and in consultation with Gifford's family and Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, come to an appropriate remedy. Thank goodness, Governor Brewer's office, to her credit, has already rejected such discussion as, quote, entirely inappropriate. Amen, Governor. Let's bring in MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson, also associate editor, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist of the Washington Post, author of Disintegration, the Splintering of Black America. Good evening, Gene. Good evening, Keith. It is rare to get 100% recovery from a bullet wound to the head, but it can happen, and if it happens, as I understand it from the experts who understand this much better than any of us could, it tends to happen quickly. It could happen within two or three months. Full recovery. But even if she doesn't get full recovery, 95% might mean conceivably she's clear as a bell mentally and she might have a limp or she might need a cane or she'd have trouble with smells or who knows what. This whole question of how much better she gets is completely open right now. How can anybody with a soul not let some time pass before trying to rush her out of Congress? Uh, you did say with a soul, yeah, right, I Keith. Guess. I think that qualifier might be the answer to the question. I mean, you know, look, uh, it, 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 I could say classless, and, and but you know that. I could say tasteless, but, but you know that. Um, what we also know is that Gifford's recovery thus far has been described as, at the low end, remarkable. At the high end, miraculous. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just the idea that after 12 days it's time to start calling for someone, somebody else to fill the seat is, is not only heartless, but also stupid. What does uh, Mr. Frum, or anybody on the right, what, what, what does he gain by, by linking to putting out these inflammatory stories? Um, perhaps censure, yeah. opprobrium. Um, you know, look, I know David Frum, and I disagree with him on just about everything. But frankly, I'm surprised uh, that this sort of that he would feature this sort of thing on a, on, a, on his website. Um, it, it's 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 not appropriate, and I think it brings him brings the kind of attention uh, that that's not good. There is such a thing as bad publicity. Yeah. I hope left in this world, and 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 this should bring some of it. The original point of this blogger, and this this has also been raised in other forums with far less responsible people. Uh, that's a relative term, obviously. Is mental incapacity really the issue here? I mean, the same week that Ron Reagan talked about his belief that his father had Alzheimer's while president, I mean, this is the same day. Leslie Stahl today again addressed having witnessed President Reagan so completely lost mentally in 1986, and her words were, doddering space cadet, that she was going to go on the air that night and report it on CBS Evening News. I mean, is this, is this, is this really about, in that context, is this really about... Gabby Gifford's potential intellectual cap uh, capability when, as she recovers from this? I, you know, I, I guess 
maybe it is, although the irony is, is, is rich. I mean, you want other examples for how many years was Strom Thurmond Gee, uh, in the, in the yeah. Senate uh, without um, really knowing what he was uh, casting his vote for or against. Um, but again, we have no idea what the, the end point or even the midpoint of Gabby Gifford's recovery is going to look like. And, and so it, until we have a little more experience, it, it just doesn't make any sense uh, to talk about mental incapacity. Uh, something else. The right today is, is also trying to blame Michelle Obama because there's been a slight increase in pedestrian deaths. Uh, their claim being her, the anti-obesity campaign encourages walking. Uh, what, what's the right responsible thing to do with this, uh, stories like this, the, uh, with this level of, of asininity? I mean, do you smack them down right away or does that help them get in the mainstream and give them traction? What do you do with these things? Uh, you know, I think you say yes and yes. I mean, it, it, frankly, talking about these stories does give them um, wider circulation and, and thus, I guess, more currency. Um, but I go back and forth on this, as yeah. I know you do, Keith. Absolutely. Uh, right now, I'm in smackdown mode. I think, you know, I think you, 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 when you see something like this, when you hear something like this, you've you got to call it out. You've got to call out the people who are responsible for it and say, look, this is, this is, this is asinine. Uh, Hopefully, Gabby will have the final word on this. Hopefully. Gene Robinson of the Washington Post. Always a pleasure, Gene. Thank you. Great to talk to you, Keith.